All right, we're back doing another tailgate talk. We've borrowed Sean's truck once again. Nice place to sit out at an organized hunt today. Had a little rain come through, but it's fairing off. It's going to be a beautiful day. And we have Mr. Cliff Campbell. Cliff, how are you today, bud? I'm doing great, Steve. Doing it's great. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you do back in Ohio, right? Yeah, right now I'm retired, but uh, some of my hobbies, of course, is metal detecting, right. uh, flying drones, and metal detecting I got in about six years ago and just love the hobby. Okay. And you've got a YouTube channel, I think? Yeah, uh, Cincinnati Clad King. If you want to tune in, I do uh, metal detecting videos and drone videos. So clad kings, that mean you're finding a lot of coins oh, out in the yards? Oh, a lot what? of coin, a lot of clad coin. Not a lot of silver, but a lot of clad. Yeah. So I dubbed my name Cincinnati Clad King. Okay, do you have kind of any jewelry over time or anything like that? Or? Yeah, uh, a lot of rings and uh, earrings, but probably about 54, 55 uh, rings. So that's not too bad. 55 rings, that's pretty darn good. <laughs> I love it, love it. Now, I think you were telling me this is your first organized hunt to go to, is that right? Yeah, I just, I seen it on uh, Nuggin Noggin's uh, video and I'm like, I want to do that. And my wife kept encouraging me, go ahead and do it, go ahead and do it. I'm like, oh, I don't know. She said, do it, quit being such a baby and go out and do it. So I signed up and here I am. So what do you think so far? I mean, it's a different experience, I guess, than just hunting solo in the yards, right? I love it. I, I you know, I love the, you know, being with other people, going out metal tech and seeing other people uh, loving the same hobby and doing that. So I love it so far. It's great. Yeah, we'll get you to show uh, some of your finds after a while. You found some uh, halves, I guess, so yeah, far? Yeah, uh, right now uh, we had a half dollar hunt, and so far I found 12 of them. So I'm happy with that. It's pretty good. All right, and one of the fun things, if you find the right ones, you get you know, a number on there. You might win some cool prizes. So uh, we'll keep up with Cliff later on today to see if he does good in the silver hunt. You know, I'm hoping so. I think, I think it'll be fun. Uh, any advice for any other people getting into this about what you think about getting started? Yeah, one thing about metal detecting or even going on a hunt like this, but if you want to get into metal detecting, you can go find your metal detector, use one for $100, $200, go out, start doing it, see what you like about it. Uh, it's a hobby that will pay for itself in the long run. So finding coins, finding silver coins, you know, collecting them, it's just a great hobby. Yeah, so you've uh, got to the AT Pro, I guess. Oh yeah, I love my AT Pro. It's I'm so familiar with it, and you know, you know what every number means and what it is in the ground before you get it. And it's just been a reliable machine for me. Uh, I like this where it's kind of a speed hunt, finding stuff as quick as you can. I guess that pays to know your machine a little bit. Oh yeah, you got to know your machine. So right. if you know what the number is, you know, since uh, looking for a number, if you know they're bearing half dollars and the signal is going to be 88, 89, that's what you're looking for. So. Very good. Well, I appreciate you taking a few minutes. I wish you the best of luck the rest of the day today. Cliff, pleasure to meet you. Same here, Steve. I, I love it. All Thank right. you a lot. Another interesting Garrett customer, Garrett fan here on Tailgate Talk. We will see you next time. 72. Hey, look at oh, that. Cliff. Cliff. There you go, All buddy. right. Hey. 18 back. Right. 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 Good deal. <laughs> yeah. All right. Awesome. Good job, Cliff.